ready to uh, head to the West Coast. <laughs> West, we ran into Sci Child, this amazing threadhead who wrote us this rad song about how he didn't know how to sew. So, this week we're showing him the simplest stitch in the book, all while making a cool pixie hat from a tutorial one of our forum members sent in. First, measure around your head with a tape measure. Now divide that number you get in half. And with a fabric pencil, measure and trace out two triangles on an old t-shirt or some cool fabric. Cut your pieces out and face them right sides facing each other. Next, you're going to want to pin them together. Once you double thread your needle, the first stitch we're going for is the simple running stitch. You're going to want to insert your needle into the top of your fabric, come back around and make your first loop. Now when you come back up, you just tie a simple knot, make one more, and you're set. Now it's all about the over and under. Over and under, over and under, over and under. Work your way around the hat till both sides are stitched up. Make another double knot to secure your stitch. Turn the hat right side out and press down. You got yourself a new elf pixie hat thing. Good for bad hair days and running through the forest barefoot with a flute. Please help me. Teach me what I need to know. I'm ready. You think you can teach me? We interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast for WebWeb, a show about the World Wide Web's we weave. This week, we follow a thread started in the forums called DIY Blogs, where Diana Bobar posted her site, So Fashion. Through Diana's site, we discover Style Bites and a motherload of great links, including Modish, who recently featured Jesse Maloney's site, Art School Dropout. Jesse's site brings us to the Stanley Family Lodge, a very conscious online store whose latest news post is about the hip benefit to help a fellow crafter and single mom. Check out the hip benefits Etsy shop and keep our web web strong. Welcome to Metal Chick. This week we're going to get hard. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. My name is Fong Vong, I'm 27 years old and I'm a resident of uh, DC District Columbia. I'm the owner and designer of Treat DC. This only fuels me to do what I want, you know, I work a full-time 9 to 5 doing business development and it's soul corroding, that's not what you want, it sucks the life out of you like worse than a vampire. So here are a few samples that I've done, this is my summer collection, so currently I'm working on the fall collection. These are prairie dresses that I make. It's very versatile in pieces in that you could throw a vest, you could throw a shawl. It's not necessarily for just the prim and proper. That's what I love about my pieces. Anyone can rock this. The unrefined look is my look. And so I've stitched this in a way where there's no set pattern, no direction. I don't like strictly just texture um, to be so consistent. And to break up that monotony, this is the way to do it. There's all these flaws that you can see with it, but that's a perfect thing about it. It's that it's not perfect. This is my motivation. This is my catalyst and my drive for what I do. On the forums, Tom of the Cat posted this awesome bag partially constructed from a ramen noodles package. Jess Ray made these two fabulous shirts, and Celluloid Pixie tried out the DIY screen printing too and made some great prints. We also got an excellent email from Carolyn, who made a bunch of paper beads. And another from Patrick, who put together this rockin' superhero laptop case. Great work, everyone! Well, we sure are glad to be home. We really missed you. Definitely. And a big thanks to everyone who contributed for last week's viewer takeover week. It was so awesome, and we are so impressed that we're upping the ante. Think you got what it takes to make your own weekly show on Threadbanger? Just send in videos of what your show would look like, and you just may land yourself a deal. Till next week. Check it out.